David and I'm a man learning to play the flute. I'm the flute learning man. And uh, just to clarify that, uh, I'm not an expert, I'm a, quite a beginner, I've been playing only for about a year, so I'm not here to, to teach people how to play the flute. There are far, people who are far better at doing that than, than I would be. Uh, and there are tutors around, there are people on the internet that will uh, help you learn things. So I'm here as a learner, as almost a beginner, uh, and once more a beginner with four damaged fingers on my left hand, particularly this one, which I can't bend properly. Uh, so uh, my hope is that uh, I'm going to share some tips, some of the issues and problems that I'm finding in trying to learn both to read music and play the flute at the same time. And hopefully that people will be able to comment on what I say, what I do, and come up with other ideas and other clues and uh, other helpful um, aids to help people like me to learn to play the flute. Now, before I go any further, I haven't mentioned this before, but I'd like to point out my very funky blinds here. These are funky foxes. Uh, the funky fox blinds and they'll be my backdrop for quite a lot of these vlogs so i hope you like them they're very popular here anyway so uh, but i hope you like my funky fox blinds too so uh, recently i've been having particular problems with low notes and it's particularly appropriate that the piece of music i, I use to, to lead into my uh, vlogs is the uh, bure by bark and it finishes uh, on the bit that I play at least finishes on a low D. Uh, so from the sort of high D and finishes on the low D. And I find low notes a little difficult and I think I'm not alone in this. There are two basic problems. One is that uh, if not played correctly, which is regularly the, the case for me, uh, that the note sounds rather breathy. Uh, and doesn't sound as clear as it does in the middle range. And I think we maybe we all have this sort of problem in that uh, with the noise and the volume as well. I find in the lower range that when we get getting down to F, uh, E and D and C in my case, I use a, a C foot joint, so B is never a problem. Uh, but certainly from below the G, so F, E and D and C, uh, I have probably volume as well. In the middle range, uh, I, I can be loud and I can make an awful racket uh, in the upper register but in these four low notes particularly uh, my volume decreases and the note can sometimes sound a bit breathy so I'll demonstrate both those the breathiness first and that's compared to a middle D which would be for a higher D So there's breathiness and the volume is uh, reduced. So I'm going to tell you a couple of things first that my, my tutor has told me uh, to share with you. And um, I sometimes actually remember what she says and pay attention and actually put these things into, into practice. Uh, I've also done a bit of an internet search. One or two things have come from there as well. Uh, but so the first thing is to make sure that the, your embouchure is correct. Now, again, the theory is that when you're playing in the lower register, your mouth should be a little wider. And now, I've heard this described uh, as various things, but I, as a biologist, I like, quite like the concept of being like a shark mouth. If you look at sharks, the mouth is usually, if you're looking from the front, I hope you never get to see that in the wild, but the mouth is quite wide. Uh, so for the lower notes, it should be a, wide, a wider mouth. As if you're as if you're whining, as if you're smiling while you're trying to play. Whereas for the mid range, it should be a bit more pursed in with those pursed lips. And I hope you can see that on the film. Very very end for the low note, and for the higher notes. So make sure the embouchure is correct, is what I've been told. So I pass that on if you have any other clues as how to do that. I'm sure that must be very difficult if you're playing in the middle of a piece, uh, especially a piece by, I don't know, Barker, somewhere there's a lot of notes and you're playing up and down the registers. Uh, I'm sure that it mustn't be easy particularly. I don't find it easy to, to switch from 
the, the wide embouchure to the more narrow embouchure very easily. So again, I'm putting myself out there. If you have any ideas, uh, any tips as to how to do that consciously or otherwise, then you can just please let me know, put comments on uh, at the bottom of this video. With regard to the, the flute, the embouchure itself, I think there's a tendency very often to, to blow across. Uh, and if you were to get a bottle and fill it with water and, and blow across, it would sound breathy. And you have to blow a little more into the bottle or into the embouchure here, uh, as long as you're not going too far in with the low nose, because that will then tend to take it, apparently, as I understand it, and as I experience, to a higher register. But even so, yeah, I think it's important not to be, to be careful not to blow too far across the embouchure for the low notes. There's a temptation to do so. And I have a bad habit, personally, of rolling the flute. Uh, and occasionally I, I pick myself up, I'm conscious when I'm playing, that I'm rolling the flute to get different registers. Uh, so don't do that either. Try and keep the flute still and blow in the correct way. So I'll play a too far across. This is, a, again, a lower D. And the other thing I find a uh, clue is to be relaxed more about playing the lower notes and to not tense the throat to try and get it to get the volume in. I often find um, if I'm not relaxed, I end up humming the note. And whilst uh, that might be fine for my personal flute hero, who's Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull, uh, who often, especially in the early days, used to, to hum and hum the tune whilst playing at the same time, uh, I find that if I'm not relaxed, I'm actually humming the note or making a noise, of a, a humming noise, into the flute, which is not helpful. So try and relax, relax the throat, so that the breath comes from the abdomen through the throat, throat quite naturally and quite consistently with a consistent um, airspeed through, through the note. If I try and get tensed up, it will hum. Try and keep it relaxed and play uh, the note from the abdomen consistently through. So, I've also got two uh, ways of practicing these. Uh, one is to practice playing the low notes as loudly as possible. Play the low note and play, make it as loud as possible uh, until the note cracks up into the next register. Is just to practice that repeatedly, repeatedly over and over again until the muscle memory in the abdomen and the chest uh, kicks in and by practice, 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 uh, I find that eventually you, you get to know exactly where to, to stop blowing harder. My tutor's also taught me an exercise which is to play uh, with D or E, but I'll do this with D to, although with D it does have the, the finger movement as well from lower register to middle register, but to just play notes low, middle, low, middle, low, middle consistently until uh, you get the, the variation right. Uh, and as with all things with the flute and with any musical instrument, practice, 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 practice. Uh, so something along these lines. as they indeed have my neighbours now as well. Uh, so uh, that's just a little exercise uh, that, that she's taught me. But the, the key is practice, practice, practice. So the, the two problems, one is that the uh, note can be a bit breathy. And the second problem is that you can feel as if you're not getting enough volume as you do with the middle and the upper registers. So solutions, make sure the embouchure is correct, both the, the shape of the mouth where possible and also to be blank into the correct part of the embouchure on the flute. Relax the throat so you're not humming and forcing the air through. So just relax, relax the throat, relax the abdomen, to try and get a consistent note, uh, consistent volume and airspeed through the note. 
Uh, practice by just playing the low notes as loud as you possible to the cracks till you are well aware of exactly how much volume you, of air you get through before it cracks up. And then uh, to practice with the note going from middle to high, you can do it with D, E, F or even C, whichever you choose, but all four of those practice playing low note, middle, low register, middle register, low register, middle register until you get it consistently. Practice, 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 practice. So I hope you like what I'm saying. I hope you like what I'm trying to achieve. Uh, as always, if you've got any clues, any tricks, any possible little cheats with all of these things, uh, my intention is just to share what I'm going through, what I'm learning with you, uh, and to share any comments that I'm sharing with you. So hopefully you can share back uh, with everybody else that, that looks at these, these videos. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Come back again, and I'll see you another time.